Hello and welcome to the My Balls Edge Podcast for September 10th, 2019. I'm your host, Alan. I don't really talk like that. I'm sorry, guys. So I spent the last mm, 10 minutes trying to fix my audio. I, I found out I could use my gamer headset with the mic, but it picks up way too much sound in the background. So it's like a worst case scenario. Plus, I still wouldn't know how to record two voices at the same time. Uh, I don't have the right equipment, I guess. I'll get there. Alright, I'll have people talking with me, so it's not just me rambling. So yeah, episode 4. It is in fact September 10th. The year is 2019. Uh, I remember when I was a kid. It must have been... Mm, first, second grade, one of those grades. I was in primary, and I was reading these magazines about science. I liked reading science magazines. It's got my little tiny kid cock hard, and one of them was about the the city of the future, and all the cities in the future were gonna be like geometrically shaped, and the air was gonna be clean, and all the grass was gonna be like the same shade of green, and Wait, did I say... I don't know. I I said green twice. Sorry, that that freaked me out. I think I was staring at my bag of potato chips. It's also green. And then they had the solar paneled cars. And I thought by now, we would be on solar energy and wind energy. Because they've been telling us that shit since the 90s. And now, we're still gas guzzling. I mean, you got your electric cars, sure, but you you gotta plug them in somewhere? Who has time for that? I want the sun, especially this fucking Texas sun, coming down on us. I spent all day today out in the sun. Even when it rained, it rained twice today. I'm, I'm pushing carts at my little job, and it's raining. The water felt good, but it was still sunny. The sun was still out. It was so annoying. And as soon as the the wind was done cooling my skin from all the water that was on my skin, immediately the sun just started turning it into like a shitty like mist. And some lady with her little haircut walks up. (laughs) I I wanted to use the sauna today. (laughs) Or some shit like that. You know, these people, they try to be funny. They got nothing else to live for. Speaking of which, that leads me into my first segment. That's right. I got segments. And by segments, I mean I wrote down shit on my phone because I wanted to tell you guys these things before I forget. And I wrote down a bunch of notes. So I'm sitting down last night. I get home. I live with my friend Grace. I've known her since high school. None of her years. She's practically a sister. Sorry, real sister, Lizzie. I know you're out there. I'll bring you on too. I'll bring I'll, I'll bring the whole gang. But I'm talking about my fake sister, um, Grace. You'll meet her soon enough. You'll learn to love her. You'll learn to uh, hate her miserably. She's a miserable person. She's a horrible scumbag of a human being. But you know, she's my she's like my second best friend i got some weird friends guys real excited for you to meet these fucking scumbags okay i don't want to get too uh off topic but um what were we talking oh yeah i wrote down notes i'm writing down notes guys i'm trying to trying to organize my shit you know i got my coffee here it's lukewarm because i was playing the witcher and i was like man i could i could relax tonight I don't have to do another show until maybe Friday, right before the Six Flags Day. But I missed you guys. Or maybe I miss myself. Maybe I like listening to the sound of my own voice. My my, my, my awesome voice that's really soothing. And if you're listening in a, with headphones or in your car, uh, just pretend I'm inside you. I'm inside your head. Ah, uh, yeah, that feels good. I wrote down notes 
I'm at work, and like everyone does, that's smart. You you print out the little receipt paper with nothing on it, and you write down notes or or draw. Why doesn't anyone draw? If it's a slow day and everyone's like, oh, it's boring, and then you got that old guy, I'm, you look bored. I'll give you something to do. <laughs> And it's like, okay, go fuck off, go fuck yourself, and, uh, fuck you. But, not me. I'm never bored. Which, legitimately, I'm never bored. It's weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm at work, and I'm, I'm thinking about things. And, if all else fails, I'll grab a little paper, I'll get a little pen out, and I just start doodling or writing down things, which in this case would be notes for uh, what to talk about. Because I wanted to come on here and just, you know, bullshit, kind of just riff on each other, even though this just, it's just me right now. But I wanted to write down things because I forget a lot of gold. And I'm reading them to Grace last night. And each topic, we just start having this full blown conversation i'm like wait 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 wait! shut the fuck up we gotta record this but i didn't want to record last night i wanted to wait to have like a full-blown episode but I, yeah we just, i just had to shut her up i have the notes still but i'm not going to talk about those tonight i'm going to talk about the ones i wrote in my phone very fresh hot off the press i'm going to get to the full it movie breakdown hopefully it'll make sense uh but first i need i need to talk i need to tell you guys this thing because this happened to me it's kind of related to the well that's not related at all to the dude at the bus story but okay as a as a bus passenger you're traveling the city you're commuting downtown which is already full of just hysterical characters and then you're going to work which is filled with more hysterical characters especially if you're in the alamo heights area you're gonna see some weirdos and oh boy there's some weirdos you think they're all just normal you know granola bitch yuppies but they're 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 just ah okay, let me just tell you one of them because th there's there's a few and, and I want to get some friends on here and we we can exchange stories and get ourselves in trouble. But so yesterday or the day before, I'm losing track of the days, but I'm at work and I'm doing my thing. It's slow. I get my receipt paper. I'm writing down stuff. I'm drawing. I'm drawing a black hole, what it would look like as a super attack for one of my characters that turns into a you know plasma cannon. You know, because we all we all know that a, a black hole, when it collapses, it'll it'll shoot a, a like a I forget what the beam is called exactly, but pretty much the atoms break down and it splits off into two different directions, and that beam will go off like pretty much forever, destroying anything in its path. It's basically all the power of that sun and everything that it's sucked in, and it just shoots out into one beam because it just can't handle. At least I think that's how it works. I've seen like artist representations. It looks badass, and I want to incorporate that into my uh, comic slash graphic novel slash whatever the fuck it's gonna be. But it's cool. Anyway, I'm not talking about that today. I'm talking about I'm at my register. Sorry, I got I got like uh, I was gonna say PTSD. That no, no. Although I do get that sometimes from uh, Thanksgiving. And, uh, ah, God damn it. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say sorry, but um, I need coffee. Give me one second. A little. Ugh, why am I so tensed up? All right, let me just get to the story. Focus, Alan. So let me register. And I'm doing my thing. Very old guy. Old Hispanic man. Walks up. 
I notice him from about 50 feet away. It's very awkward. Because I might have been looking elsewhere. Maybe I saw an attractive woman. Or maybe it was a, a co-worker. Or maybe it was a, a little kid pushing a cart way too big for his size. Or I was drawing. I was doing something. But then I see something in my peripheral. And I see him. And he's walking ever so slowly. Looking at me with his little... Uh, item that he's purchasing and I go okay he's got that look on his face like hey you happy to see me because I'm happy to see you and I'm walking up to you so <laughs> what made it awkward was that it took him like 30 seconds for him to finally get to my register which I wasn't a part of the 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 big row of registers up in the front I'm in this little solitary register towards the back where everyone eats so I'm just there chilling it's my favorite spot. But it, yeah, it takes him like a, you know, a whole minute. He's walking ever so slowly with his little shorts on. He's walking up, walks a little closer. Halfway through, I, I'm just ignoring him. I'm just looking elsewhere, just preparing myself for him to finally show up. And finally he gets there. And he puts his little thing, you know, he pays for it, blah, blah, blah. You know, transaction complete. And then... You know how some older types are. They're, they want to tell you a story. Because quite frankly they're at home. And they want to meet people. They want a human interaction. They want to tell a story or two. And I'm there. I'm there to listen. Usually my whole thing is. Uh, they'll tell me something. And I'm like nodding my head. Sometimes I'll look at them. Sometimes I'll look off into the distance. And kind of just nod my head very stoically like yeah mm-hmm yeah I know mm-hmm and uh, enough time has passed that I forgot exactly what he was saying but he was telling me oh that's right his eyes no not his eyes I think it was his um maybe it was his eyes can't see what he couldn't see the um, the label on whatever he was eating and I told him something about it oh yeah that's uh apples or something like that and he's like okay oh okay good 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 I, I can't I can't see anything without my eyes you know it's, 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 I could barely see you oh yes yes it's, yeah you try to and he continues I'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's hard enough you know I I can't drive anymore so I I gotta take the bus and I just and I'm thinking, uh, okay, how does he know what number is coming up? How, how does he know? Oh, no, Alan, whatever. This is this is the shit that's going on in my head all the time. I'm not a. This is why uh, I need to talk to you guys about this because I, I feel like I have some issues, and this is what I think about. And I wanted to let you know. And if you want to just uh, turn this off, that's cool. Anyway. He's uh, telling me that he's losing his sight, but he's still able to get by. He tells me, hmm, well, uh, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't see anything, and uh, I gotta, you know, uh, I used to drive, but now I can't, yeah, but, but, oh, my wife, oh, she, she's, she's driving. I mean, oh, okay, your wife, you're bringing her into this, okay. My wife, he's a... Uh, she, she she drives, but sometimes she uh, her 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 vision will just she'll, she'll just black out, and, and and she'll she'll black out right right in the middle of the street while she's driving. I'm like, whoa, well really? Well, that's not safe. No, it's not safe. No, it, no, it isn't. No, no. Like, uh, oh, while she's driving, like in the middle of the street, I'm, like, I'm thinking, holy shit, she's gonna kill someone. Yeah, yeah, I just. She should be driving. I told her. Told her not to drive. She's driving our car. And... Yeah, yeah. She probably shouldn't be driving. In fact, she shouldn't be driving. That, that's not safe. Oh, yeah. yeah she, she just black out. She just can't see. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm like, yeah, you should. And I'm trying to, like, agree with them. Because it's true. She shouldn't be driving. I tell you, when I get to that age, I'm going to stay the fuck home. I'm going to just... If VR gaming is, is a thing by then, I'm going to just be in that P 
pee into a little catheter and you know I, I don't want to just go out in the public and, and give people trouble because you're risking your life you're risking other people's lives you're, you're slow anyway <laughs> this is where it takes the funny twist this is why i'm bringing this up i thought it was funny i'm pretty sure he said oh yeah, yeah, I, just, I got home and she's she can't see nothing and uh, I just you know I just gotta get a new one you know I'm thinking a new what what is he talking about you know I just I got home and it's just just one thing after the other she can't see she can't do nothing well, you know it's just it's just a lot of trouble and then uh, well yeah, yeah I think we're gonna just sell the car. Uh, we're gonna get a, a, a Via Transit. Look at the Via Transit pass. I'm like, yeah, that's it. good, exactly. I, I know at least two senior citizen co-workers. They, 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 they shouldn't be out in the streets, man. It's dangerous. And our uh, Via bus, a Via Metro bus system, in case you're listening somehow from not San Antonio, it's the bus. It's the bus system. And they got the little Via Transit that you, you can call... I guess you have to sign up for them, and they'll come and pick you up, you know, for elder folks and handicapped and whatnot. And so I was like, yeah, yeah, do that. It'd be great. Don't be driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might just, just sell the car, you know. <laughs> and by this time, he, I got like another family right behind him ready to purchase their entire meal because it's like around lunchtime. And he's just there chilling, telling me all these stories. And I'm nodding my head like, okay, okay, okay. And then maybe like another dude behind the family behind him that might join the line, but he's considering it. And so the mom of the group, she's waiting patiently. She sees this old dude with suspenders on or whatever. He's like, she's like, okay, whatever. Mm. And so I'm just going to give him a few more seconds to finish to wrap up the story and then it's like okay so he's telling me how he had a truck i forget what kind of truck he had but he he was gonna sell the truck but he used to have it he used to drive it he used to wash it sometimes and then they have another car that he wants to sell so he's gonna take it to the salvation Ar i'm gonna take it to the, the, the salvation army and uh don't uh sell it there donate it you know, so, so they can have it and oh uh, yeah, uh, all right. Well, yeah, you be safe. You be safe out there. Don't no more driving. No, no, well, you have a good one. Okay, okay, okay. And I, I'm looking. I'm like kind of signaling, doing a little dance to the to the mom behind him and the family. They're trying to purchase their food, and he starts kind of like inching to the right or left or whatever. And okay, okay. And then you know what? I'm not even trying to give the guy shit. Because at the very end, as he's walking off, okay, okay, yeah, okay, well, thanks, thank, thanks for listening. <laughs> he just wanted, hey, my phone went off. Somebody, okay, anyway, uh, sorry, distractions, I need to put this thing on silent. He wanted someone to listen. And I thought that was pretty cool. I liked listening to people, even if it makes a funny story. But is he going to get rid of his wife and get a new one? That's what I want to know. Maybe when you get to a certain age, you could just joke about stuff like that. Because it was funny. And I was like, you know, I, I might have chuckled. I don't know. I, I forget what happened. But I thought it was pretty cool. So... And I'm like, okay, I'm at 19 minutes. Okay. Yeah, Xander's not here this time. I think someone's trying to break into my house. I hear noises. Maybe it's a cat. Alright, well, well. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so that story's out the way. My next 
segment is okay. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna title the the the, the, the fucking video. Uh, it's my uh, dude. This is this is pretty awkward. I don't know how to begin this. It, so chicken sandwiches are the thing, and I want to try them all. Chicken sandwiches. So I grew up. I'm a burger guy. I'm a burger boy, if you will. And if I want chicken, it's got to be, you know, fried, maybe barbecued, and I'll eat it like that. I was never a chicken sandwich guy. It, it never really clicked with me. I was like, oh, all right. I get the idea. And I've had I've had plenty of uh, um, grilled chicken sandwiches, and I've made, uh, was it fried? I fried some chicken, like, breast. And made a sandwich at home. I've done that, but when I go out to like a, a restaurant or a fast food place, I never get this the chicken sandwich. I always get the the, the burger. Well, I'm a very uh, simple guy. I get the same thing every time. I hardly ever go out of, outside my box of uh, comfort. So I wanted to um, start a new segment called the Chicken Sandwich Tournament of Champions. Uh, title pending. I don't know what to call it, but basic. Uh, it'll look cooler on the title, and you can get excited. And then when you're listening to it, by the time you hit the 20 minute mark, you're gonna be like, "Oh, well, I waited for this shit." It's the. It's the. I had a better name. I wrote it down. Basically, I want to try them all because this whole Popeye's chicken sandwich thing. Here's the deal. Popeye's chicken is the shiznit. It's my favorite chicken establishment. This whole time, I was convinced they always had a chicken sandwich. Like, this whole time. And yet, apparently I was wrong. Because I never bothered to look at the chicken sandwich options for any place. So... I'm scratching my head. I'm seeing all this shit going on online. And sure enough, it's 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 new. And people love it. P people love the Popeye's flavor. I don't know if the the breading is spicy or they give the little sauce on top. I don't know. But I haven't tried it yet. Me and my friend Victor, another roommate, we went to Popeye's cuz he was going to give me a ride to the laundromat. And I was like, "All right. You take me to the laundromat." I'll buy you a chicken sandwich. It's the it's the least I can do. And we've both been trying to watch, uh, not watch out, uh, try these sandwiches. It's all the rage. If you're listening to this like two years later, just know that at a certain point in time, uh, hip hop stars were buying them by the dozens, and people were murdering each other, holding each other at gunpoint for these chicken sandwiches. They're so good. I haven't tried it yet. They were out. There's a little sign that said, Hey, oops, we'll be back. And we had to get a regular two-piece instead, which was on special because it was Tuesday and, you know, it's Popeye's. Come on. But it got me thinking. All right. I've had the Chick-fil-A sandwich. I get it all the time. I don't like getting the strips. I love the strips. I get to dip them in the sauce, but they always chip you on the strips. They give you the little tiny one and count it as one. Oh, it's your it's your pleasure, you fucking fraud. No. Just give me the sandwich. So there's two sandwiches that I usually frequent. It's the Chick-fil-A sandwich and the Bill Miller crispy chicken sandwich. Which is also pretty good, but you gotta go on a good day. I might include that in my rating system, my tournament. The the, the chicken sandwich tournament of power. I'm going to just stick with that because it sounds like Dragon Ball Z and it's pretty tight. Or Chicken Tourney for short. If you want to like make it a t-shirt. So the Chicken Sandwich Tournament of Power. My number one is going to be McDonald's. I went to McDonald's today. As I said, I was pushing carts. I'm outside. And McDonald's is right across the street. And I don't like the food at my work. I really don't. It sucks. It's always dry. There's no flavor caters to more dare I say 
white people. But, you know, a lot of other people like it too. It's not for me. It's very bland. And then they... they whatever. No, no offense to the chefs downstairs. But it's not for me. And we don't have the best microwave dinners. No hungry mans. No... Uh, well, yeah, anyway. Getting off topic. I need like a little... I need someone here to like slap me when I'm getting off topic. There's a McDonald's across the street. And a Bill Miller's like a block down. And when I'm feeling hungry and I have a lunch that day. And I want to waste my money on fast food. I'll go to one of those places. Can you hear me? I don't know if my mic was close enough. So. Oh man, it's getting hot in here. I got to turn this AC on. I'm just going to pause it right quick. So, uh, you know, I had the headphones on that whole time and I can't even hear myself while I'm doing it. So I took off my headphones and my ears feel so much better right now. They're getting some air. Mm. And I turn my AC on. Mm. Yeah. So any hoop. There's a McDonald's across the street and the, the you got the fry smell wafting over. And I'm pushing cards. I'm getting all sweaty, looking all swollen, and this fry smells is wafting across the street, like like the million spirits of yesteryear coming through. Alan, 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 you want some fries, bitch? And of course, I'm like, dude, I'm hungry. I want some fries. I thought, no, I want to stay here and uh, make a salad. Been trying to get into that whole game. But then I thought about the, the Chicken Sandwich Tournament of Power. And I thought, what better way to kick off the, the Chicken Sandwich Tournament of Power than to start with number one and just wipe it off right the first episode. Is the, is the, the McDonald's home-style buttermilk chicken sandwich i think that's what it's called it's a crispy uh little deal maybe i'll post a picture in fact yeah it's a sandwich episode chicken sandwich tournament of power mcdonald's edition contestant number one and let me tell you right now full honesty you know i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not gonna bullshit why the fuck would i lie this is my show there would be no reason for me to lie to you it was pretty good. It was, um... Well, the picture probably doesn't do it justice, but... Yeah, I liked it. Because I had the chicken strips. They, they, they had some new formula. Because I don't know if anyone remembers, but they used to have the, the Mighty Strips. Or whatever. And... Because they have the chicken... Everyone's had the chicken McNuggets. Everyone knows them. They started selling chicken strips. And they were okay. But sometimes, most of the time, they'd burn them. And they're hard to bite into. Because my teeth are crap. I'm an old man. I need soft foods. But no, I, uh, it's like the same shit. They, they have a new homestyle buttermilk like breading or whatever the fuck. And so it's the whole little chicken filet or whatever the fuck. They put in the nice toasty, almost buttery uh, a bun, which is different than the ones they give the burgers. Kind of reminded me of the ones from the Wendy's. It's like a, I don't think it was toasted. It was just like a, I don't know. It was, just, it was, just, it was soft bun, better than the burger bun. It was like a nice sheen on top. A little bit buttery. It's a good bun. I was impressed by the bun. Just the bun. If we're grading by bun. Which I want to grade these by uh, chicken. On toppings. On the bun. I think the bun's very important. Because how many times have you gotten a burger? And I'm going to just throw Jack in the box right under the bus. Right off the bat. They have the worst buns out of all the places I've been to. The people that never give a shit. 
they just slap a bun on your burger. They're like, there you go. The, the, the shake machine's down. We're cleaning it. And it's like, fuck. It's always stale and dry. And Anyway, I, I don't even know if they do a chicken sandwich, but I don't. I guess if they do, I'm I'm, a, I'm obligated to try it out. Maybe their chicken bun is better than their burger bun, just like McDonald's. But that's a story for another day. We'll see. I wonder if Six Flags is a chicken sandwich. Hmm. We're going to have some competition, guys. We're going to lead all the way up to the Popeye's chicken sandwich because I feel like these goddamn stores are not going to be able to order chicken sandwiches for another blah, three months. But I'm going to wait. I'm a patient man. I ain't going nowhere. You know? So, uh, yeah. And I, I love me some fast food. This is the podcast that appreciates some good fast food. So if you're like me and you're cheap and broke... I like that uh, that joke from the Chappelle special, where it's his uh, he, was it he's talking to his father, or, and it's like the kid's like, I don't like being poor, and he says, uh, "We're not poor, we're broke. Poor is a state of mind, but we broke." And of course, the kid's like, "Being broke sucks," or something like that. It's 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 Chappelle. I can't redo it, but the point is, I mean, I'm not poor. Got a house, got AC, got this little computer recording my voice. You know, but I'm broke. Shit, I'd be making my own chicken sandwiches. I can. Shit. Of course, I always end up messing it up somehow. You know, but. Whatever, that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the McDonald's homestyle chicken sandwich. It was good. Let me tell you about the toppings. Comes with a nice nice little deal of lettuce. Some slices, about three slices of a uh, tomato. And uh, I, be I believe it was like a mayo or some kind of mayo-like sauce. So I go in, I'm thinking, okay, Alan... That quarter pounder with cheese, which is what I usually get, is is like a dollar or so cheaper. Just get the quarter pounder with cheese. This is like my little dude on my shoulder. Just get the quarter pounder. Forget the tournament of power. Nobody cares. They're not going to see you eat it. Just lie to them or something. Make it up. But I said, no. I got people out there listening to this bullshit all the way to 33 minutes. They want to hear about the chicken sandwich. So I'm going to dedicate myself to this. I'm not going to have time to talk about it. Or anything else. I just wanted to tell you about the chicken sandwich. While the, the feeling is still fresh in my mind. Because I can still taste the buttery uh, essence in my mouth. I, I don't wash my mouth very often. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tonight, you know. Or in the morning, eventually. But, uh, you know, it, it's still fresh in my mind. So you got the toppings. They were fresh. It was surprisingly good. It was, a uh, okay, the, the, let me just get down to the chicken, the main event. It was, it was a good chicken. The breading wasn't so burnt. It's easy to bite into. Nice and crunchy. Uh... Juicy chicken. Um, it wasn't a thick piece. It was more like a flat. But it covered up enough area. To where there, there was like a, a bite of chicken. In every bite you know. And. The, the toppings meshed well. Everything was. It felt like a clean. Sandwich. So. It was very, I don't know, it was uncharacteristically uh, fresh tasting. Yeah, of course, I've got the burger a million times and I've never gotten their chicken sandwich. I've had their McSpicy a few times back in the day, you know, you, it's just a dollar menu, you know. Everyone's been there. I usually get the McDouble. 
But yeah, there's been times when someone would buy me a McSpicy when I didn't want one. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll eat the McSpicy. Eat the McSpicy. And it always has that sauce. And I'm not a fan of mayo, but nowadays, I've, you know, I've learned to accept it. And for this, um, I bring up the burger because it, it usually just has the, the mustard and ketchup and the pickles. I tell them no onions. But for the chicken sandwich. Uh, it doesn't come with any of that. It's just, you know, like I said, lettuce, tomato, and then the mayo sauce. I'm like, okay, whatever it comes with, to be fair, all the chicken sandwiches in the chicken sandwich tournament of power, I'm going to eat it as is. I'm not going to be picky like I am with burgers. Because with burgers, absolutely no onions. I I'm like the Adolf Hitler of onions. I, I just want to eradicate them all from the planet. We don't need them. People love onions. If you love onions, fine. Cool. But I do not like onions. So if you're going to learn anything from this podcast, is that Alan just doesn't like onions. Ugh. He should grow up. Maybe he's never tried it. Have you tried that? Dude, people have done it all. I've had people secretly put onions in my food when they're making it. Thinking, oh, you're not even going to taste it. It's going to be good. You're not even going to taste it. Fucking Jeremy does that to me all the time. I still tell him, dude, I can taste it. I can taste the onions. So, yeah, it's not worth it. Very rarely. When I have, like, no other option, like, if there's diced tomatoes in the burger, like, in the, 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 the ground beef. Shit, that burger better be good to mask that flavor. But that's very rare. Usually I could taste it though. It ruins the whole thing. I spit it out. I'm like picking it out with my finger. It looks embarrassing. It feels embarrassing. But I just. I don't do onions. They're gross. I love Funyuns. But. <laughs> no that's it. So. The chicken sandwich. I ate it as is. Right out the box. With the french fries. With the red flash. I'm washing it down, I'm eating it, washing it down, eating it. It tasted good. So I'm glad to say that my first competitor in the Tournament of Power was, was a contender. Now, like I said, I've had Chick-fil-A and I've had Bill Miller's. I'm going to say right off the bat, until Bill Miller steps up officially to the exhibition, to the tournament, to the playoffs... McDonald's is a, is a contender. They're, 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 they're equal. And again, I'm considering toppings. I'm considering... Hell, I don't know. I, maybe I should consider the, the presentation. Because it came in a nice little box. It was a nice box. I know the Chick-fil-A comes in that little foil bag, and if you wait too long, your, your, your shit gets real soggy. Come on. But, but uh, maybe like, you have to get the deluxe version, and that's when they give you the box. That's probably what I'm going gonna, gonna to have to get. Because with Bill Miller and Chick-fil-A, all you get is the chicken and pickles. And then the, the, the bun. McDonald's are like, nah, we'll, we'll give you more. It's the least we can do. We're charging you eight bucks for the meal. I mean, throw in the tomato. No pickles. And, you know, it's probably because, um, I don't know. I was surprised there's no pickles, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because the Popeye's one, from, my, from what I gather, has uh, the, the pickles in, in theirs. So we'll see. It's, this is fun. This is very fun. Um, so, buns, great. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm judging a stripper. The buns are great on uh, Esmeralda. She is a fine bun wielder. Her toppings, superb. Her meat, great breast. It was good. I give it... The meat was... Uh, okay, if I'm doing... Let's just do a 10 scale. 
I always um when you're when you're rating things, I don't know if you guys do this, but I do this one when I'm when I'm by myself and I'm rating shit. It's like, do you do five stars or do you do uh, one to ten? And stars make things simple. It's one, two, three, four, five. Um, but man, one to ten, you can get real precise because that's what makes it more interesting. And I need to write this down. Um, let me just get my phone ready. We're, 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 we're uh, let's see, chicken sandwich. Let's see, chicken, hold on, I can't type it. Chicken turning results. All right, Mickey D's. Mick D's nuts sandwich. All right, bun. I give you. Oh man, it was such a great bun. The only problem was it had that hole on top, that's kind of like peeling off. But whatever. I won't judge him. An eight. It was an eight bun. What can I say? The the toppings, the toppings. I will give. They're nice and fresh. I expected maybe at least the lettuce would be like withering, you know? You know, you get lettuce from places and they get the brown on there. No brown. Um, I'm going to go seven. I, I never thought, I did not think this would happen. McDonald's came through, dude. And the aftertaste, you know, I could taste it in my mouth. It had a, I think the most prevalent, like, throughout was the butter flavor. The, the buttermilk, whatever the fuck. It's just good. I don't know if it was the bun or the chicken, but it just had a nice flavor to it. A little bit of spice. So the, the, the meat. I will give drum roll. I have a real drum, but I don't, I don't feel like setting up my snare. It's loud. It's like 11:45 p.m. I got old people next door sleeping. Poor guys at War Vet, you know. I don't want to be rude. I'll give the meat out of ten. I will give it. God, this is hard. Okay, let's let's break this down. It wasn't juicy. It was juicy enough. The breading was good, taste taste wise. Mm. Damn, I want to say six and a half. Cause I can't give the sandwich too perfect of a deal. Cause I mean, there's no competition. Six and a half, which is still good. Six and a half. Toppings are seven. Because they do hook you up with the, the mayonnaise and the, the tomato and the lettuce. But, you know, no pickle. I love pickles. Could have done with some pickles. They didn't throw in any pickles. And I'm a hot sauce guy, so. I mean, maybe I could have gotten a little deal of uh, buffalo sauce and just poured it on before I ate it. But, oh well. I want to be fair. I want to do it as is. Now, if I'm going to Popeye's, you best believe I'm going to get the spicy version. Same goes with the other places. You know, I'm going to have to keep my eyes open for different options. So, um, yeah. So, um, I guess the grand total. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but. <sighs> What would it be like a seven? The average? I think it was seven. McDonald's home style chicken sandwich. And the chicken sandwich tournament of power gets a resounding seven out of ten. I think that's pretty important. I think that is um, 
high praise for a, a restaurant well known for being cheap and hated by uh, foodies and, and health nuts. But they do sponsor the Olympics. And for that, I think they're pretty cool. Because Olympians need love. And they're very attractive men and women. They are just pinnacles of, of, of human achievement. I don't know where that was going. I'm just saying. I'm excited for the Olympics. It's going to be in Japan and Tokyo. Goku's the, the Goku and friends. I thought it was going to be just Goku, but it turns out they're inviting the whole squad. Astro Boy, Naruto. Um, who else is going to be there? Some other characters. Uh, Sailor Moon. Let me look this up. Because uh, I'm excited about this, actually. I usually I usually like the Olympics. I'm glad I randomly thought this up because this is something good to talk about. I think we all need to just have a sit. 2020. Oh wait, my my. Oh, sorry guys, my computer's. <sighs> Olim. That's right. You already know what I was gonna type. Google. <laughs> All right, 2020 Olympics mascot. It was years ago they decided to do uh, Goku as the ambassador, but then they unveiled these two little weird looking Japanese characters. I kind of got mad. Oh, they got friends. These little chibi characters, one's a cat, one's a fox. They look like cheap knockoff versions of those little chaos creatures from Sonic. But, ooh, they already got, like, full-blown real-life suits. That's cool. Anywho, I think those are the official, um, deals. But, also, they're gonna have, I guess, on merch or whatever... They're going to have other unofficial slash official uh, mascots for the 2020 Olympics. Because it's in Tokyo. I saw the one when they were in China. And that one was pretty crazy. I think it was Beijing. And they did like a whole ceremony. And you got like a hundred people. Maybe it was more than I mean, it was a thousand people like playing the drums. And they're like just really showing the world. Hey, we're China. We're badass. And that's all there is to it. And then they saw the one in London. That one was pretty cool. All the band's coming out. It's a parade. It's pretty cool. I'm into that kind of shit. Deal with it. And. Oh, here we go. Alright, I got the list. I was trying to look up the list of these characters. The Tokyo 2020 Official Ambassadors. Japanese school children are currently voting on the official Tokyo 2020 Olympics mascot, but the winner won't be pulling double duty. As the game's ambassador, instead, that honor has been afforded to a cast of cultural icons, some of whom are famous throughout the world. No, not the Yakuza anime characters. What the f- The nine 2D heroes are revealed in a video by the Olympic Channel, an official Facebook account. From left to right, the ambassadors are- I'm just gonna listen. They're talking about background and foreground, but- you got Sailor Moon, Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy's in the mix, representing the, you know, Naruto, my boy Naruto. Usmaki, Naruto. Son Goku, Goku. Cure Miracle and Cure Magical from Pretty Cure. She's too... Lolita looking bitches. I don't know. I'm not familiar with these girls, but I'm sure Someone out there knows but yeah, and then uh, Astro Boy the original Anime boy Which is kind of what my fast kids based off of It's yeah and Shin Shin Chan I, I think that's amazing that Shin-chan's in this group representing Tokyo. 
And then uh, Jibanyan from Yokai Watch. I never saw that one. I think that one was for little. I don't know. Maybe it's for adults. I'm sure adults watch it. But yeah, Sailor Moon, Luffy, Naruto, Goku, The Pretty Cure Girls, Astro Boy, Shin Chan, and Jibanyan. 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 I don't know. But that's cool. Uh, they're gonna just. I don't know if they're gonna be on commercials. Or maybe people are gonna be in outfits during the beginning. Or they're gonna be on uh, uniforms. But. As a kind of anime fan, I'm pretty stoked. I was excited for just Goku because Goku is like, you know, the Olympian. He's all about fitness and training and being the world's best. But these other people are cool too. Sailor Moon representing the ladies and the gay community. And that's not just me being mean. I, I know, you know, I know things. All right. It's not offensive if I said gay people love Sailor Moon. Everyone loves Sailor Moon. Kind of got awkward there. You know what else gay people love? Goku. Because everyone loves Goku. This is my fourth episode, guys. Give me a break. Anyways, gay people love Sailor Moon. Moving on. These other characters look great. Astro Boy, I thought it was cool. It's a nice nod. He's been there since the beginning. Josh, before you say anything, yes, I know that there's probably a couple other anime pioneering fucking characters out there, but Astro Boy is pretty much the Mickey Mouse of Japanese animation. And um, creator, I, I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, pretty much the Walt Disney of Japan created Astro Boy and uh, that's why a lot of anime characters have big eyes because back in the 20s, 30s, 40s or whatever all of our animation had big eyes except for Mickey he had the little tiny little beady eyes but um, it's very interesting but Astro Boy yeah he's a robot he's a robot kid wearing nothing but little underwear and big red boots Flexing his muscles right now. I could see him. But still, he, I think he can compete. He's a boy. Shin-chan is the one that really uh, has me scratching my head and nodding my head at the same time. He, he, he's, he's well known for just pulling his pants down and showing his parents his penis and pretending it's an elephant. But he, they're, they're going to let him be in the, the show. I think that's great. I love Shin-chan. I don't watch enough. I need to watch more. But if anyone else is missing from that list, I'm sorry, guys. But it, it just be lucky that these characters are in a uh, representing Japan and the world. <laughs> I'm just thinking about other uh, countries coming to Tokyo and and you seeing these characters. Like, wait a minute. They got to create characters and, and, and make merch. What is uh what did Beijing have? What did London have? I guess London had like a lot of rock bands. I know the Kaiser Chiefs came out and did some shit and a lot of uh other artists that I don't remember. I just remember the Kaiser Chiefs was like, Oh, I was listening to the Kaiser Chiefs at the time. I was like, Wow, cool, they're there. So that was pretty cool. And, um, and, um, and, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get rid of that. Dead air, dead radio. You're getting your money's worth. So, yeah, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics uh, is sponsoring my chicken sandwich tournament of power. Like, uh, once again, McDonald's chicken sandwich gets a seven. Very high. Let's see. I thought about on my way home wasting more money on a. I don't know if Church's Chicken has a chicken sandwich. I think they do. Oh, God. I'm going to have to get that on. 
I don't like this church's chicken down the street from my house. They're, they're always out of shit. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, they'll have the spicy chicken. But by nine, maybe eight, they're just out of the spicy. They're out of like, I, mean, I don't know. They're just always out of shit. Not very well stocked. It's just a tiny building with like a little window that you, you walk up to. Sometimes the chicken's great. Sometimes it's not. It's church's chicken. Churches can be good. If you're, if you're from San Antonio and you, and you love fried chicken, Bill Miller's could be okay. Sometimes it could be very bland and very dry and burnt. It's always a gamble. Same thing with churches. Popeyes, they've let me down rarely. But again, I'm getting off on a chicken tangent. I have to focus on the sandwiches. Because I never get the chicken sandwiches. And this is my opportunity to come up with something to do. So next time I go to churches or next time I go to Wendy's. Let's see. Okay, let's 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 break them down right now. <sighs> churches. Maybe. Has a chicken sandwich. And let's see. We're going to have to throw in Wendy's, a contender, a Bill Miller's, Chick-fil-A. Um, Burger King might have one. Uh, not Bill, did I say Bill Miller's already? Chick-fil-A. Um, dude, and I have to keep my eye for others. I, I want to say that... Um, oof. What's that place? Um, maybe like Raising Cane's or, uh, what's that place with Golden, Golden Chick? Like, I gotta try them all. And it'll lead up to Popeye's. It's a chicken sandwich, turn them into power. And if I come up with any other chicken sandwiches, like, like a surprise guest, like, you know, like if it's the Royal Rumble, and it's the, the countdown is like, <laughs> And then the audience is counting. Three, two, one. And then like a song comes on. And everyone's like, what the fuck? And then JR's like, oh my god. Oh my god. It's. And then Peter Piper's comes out with a, a chicken sandwich. Holy shit. Or Domino's Pizza. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just come out of left wing. Even McDonald's, I wasn't expecting. It was just gonna be um, Chick Fil A and uh, Popeyes, and maybe some other places. But I saw the chicken sandwich. I was just gonna do a McSpicy, to be honest. As a goof, like it just like oh, <laughs> they they have their chicken sandwich just a McSpicy. I get it. <laughs> But no, they, they threw down, dude. They have a chicken sandwich. I'm not saying go out and try it out. But if you want an idea of what I'm talking about, I got lucky. Maybe that should be a fourth um, category now that I'm thinking about it. The, the quality of the overall sandwich. Because sometimes you, you get a bad crew. You might get the midnight you know, the grave shift, not the grave shift, graveyard shift, which is a very grave shift, and they might just not care. They'll throw something together. It'd be like a microwaved uh, piece of chicken that's like burnt up, stale bread. I'm gonna have to go to like fucking Jack in the Box. I'm gonna have to go to fucking. Long John Silvers. I have to hit them all up. Maybe once the car is up and running and I have a camera. Maybe. Maybe I'll videotape. You know, the final contenders. But. It's just going to be me eating a sandwich. That other guy does it already. The. the you know, the, the one guy. What does he say? He he yells something after every um the official Yeah, he he 
He's just eating in his car. All right, well, it's an hour. I could keep going. I, I don't know if there's anything else. I think it's the, the It movie. See, I'm already... Oh, man. I like doing these hour episodes. But, man, maybe it's just late. It's already midnight. Hopefully, I'll get together with Adam or someone with some mics and we'll have more things to talk about and I got my coffee it's not working I might have to make some more I'll bring some people over we could talk overwatch I had a discussion with someone about overwatch but he kept getting distracted by uh, something else Cause I never well, I, I met him before we go to karaoke and he's, a, he's another regular and I found out he plays Overwatch. I was like, ooh. Because everyone has their Overwatch character. Um, a true Overwatch player, if I'm being, you know, hmm, you can switch off and on to different people. But everyone's got a main. Everyone's got their, like, you know, character, their go-to character. And it, to me at least, kind of illustrates... What type of player they are. But it's not concrete, you know, because mine is Widowmaker. I like sniping. But it's such a diverse game that you can't really just stay as a, a sniper. Because maybe you got other dudes coming off and, and, and picking you off from afar, you know? You, you need to counter their characters. And anyway, I asked the guy, all right, what's your, what's your, uh, who do you main as? And he goes, Oh, well, who do you think I main as? And I'm like, Whoa, you're going to do that to me? And I've known this guy a few times. Great singer. Great singer. By the way, I'm going to do like a The Voice preview. Um, God, I have no energy. I need some rest. Um, maybe that'll be in the next episode too. But no, my whole point was, I'm asking this guy what the, what his main character is. And he told me, a, I never guessed it, but, God, this sucks. <laughs> I'm about Overwatch. I'm by myself here. I'll bring someone on. Don't worry, guys. Dude, I'm like, my, one of my eyes are open and the other one is kind of shut. But it's whatevs. I'm not even going to attempt to bring up another subject. I'm just going to sign up. It's already an hour and three minutes. I'm not going to put you guys through anything else. This, is, this has been the Chicken Sandwich Tournament of Power. Um, brought to you by the 2019 Alzafar Shrine Circus. Get your tickets now. It's not too late. Bring your kids who uh, don't know about animal torture yet. It'll be fun for the whole family. I'm sure they sell popcorn and peanuts. And um, my roommate actually got me a, a bigger poster. More detailed. It's the one I saw at the bus stop. I wanted to thank her and also like told her to, 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 to screw off. I, I why did she give me the poster? It's on my door now. I'm like I'm legit repping. I'm plugging this circus that I'm not gonna go to. And why the fuck is Bumblebee in the circus? I need answers. I need to find someone. Who, uh, who is going and they're taking pictures. I know Grace said it's like some Mexican shit going on. Like this is like a, an imported uh, circus. Um, where they don't have any like laws against this kind of stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into it. Do an expose. Thought about putting on a, a disguise and just attending... But I'm going to Six Flags, dude.
So yeah, the next episode, hopefully, unless I come up with more ideas, is this is kind of addicting. I just like coming home and talking to you guys about, you know, bullshit. It's kind of like a, a an audio diary, really. That's what this thing's turned into. These first few episodes are going to be pretty rough, but it's just me shaking off the cobwebs and working on whatever, trying to figure out this computer. And uh, I'll, I'll be back later. This has been episode number four of the Mike Balzich podcast. It is now September 11th. So, um, you can say this day is not the bomb. Because there was no bombs. It was planes. The planes, planes killed everyone. Building number seven. Bye.